I am doing the astrology for the 23rd of May 2024. This full moon packs a punch. Many have been feeling the swings in emotions all week. This full moon is in Sagittarius and it opposes the sun in Gemini. It feels as if making decisions is tough. We are seesawing between many things and that is enough to cause uncertainty and a sense of confusion. For some, these extreme positions can be the inspiration to a new romance, but one that is all about how opposites attract. Such things are not always the smoothest ways to engage, but they are very interesting and we learn a lot and grow in new directions. The sun in Gemini for the next month makes us want to look at things logically, but the Sagittarian moon wants to leap into things that feel good and give a broader perspective. Ideas are important and we are inspired to be in the moment and be willing to venture into the unknown. The challenge is in this opposition. It can feel as if we are on a teeter-totter. We seek balance, but things seem determined to throw us off balance. What is clear is that we are coming into Memorial Day weekend. This full moon definitely wants to go somewhere and get out and away from our norm. Full moons are always about seeking some connection. This moon wants to connect with nature and the magical places close by. Because it is in Sagittarius, it might feel as if we are playing things by ear, but it is more about following the impulses rather than knowing all the answers. This moon finds a lovely way to connect to Neptune and Pluto, and the Sun and Venus have aligned with Jupiter. The overall sensation is one of good luck and a desire to see things through. The dance is a delicate one, and if we can maintain balance, then the goals are assured. Jupiter and Neptune sextile, and this allows for more wonder and magic. Venus is exploring the most recent sign as it is traversing, the most recent sign that it is traversing, and that is bringing about a type of warmth and interconnection that thrives in the atmosphere that is connected and encouraging. Dreams will be highly activated, and that can make us feel as if the angels and guides are speaking more directly to us. It is as if the veil has thinned and we are able to comprehend the messages from the ethers more clearly. We want to see the good in others, and we want to find a way to reconnect our spirit to those things that really matter. Thoughts turn towards ways to have more compassion and to see the good in humanity rather than all the bad. Our approach is gentler, and the feelings of wanting to embrace love and to be in the arms and hearts of others is just what we need to find rest and to relax. We feel as if we are at a few critical turning points. Keep the ship pointed into the wind and keep her steady. Venus is captivating Gemini's attention and it motivates us to do very different things. We need to get out and about. We need to have some fun. We need to be silly. We need to find a way to engage lightheartedly with others. We are tired of all this heavy shit. Venus and Gemini can be a bit fickle, but it is time to try new things and to not need them to have staying power, but just find ways to have more fun. Thanks, everyone.